My name is Madeline Hildebrandt, and I am a pianist. Uh, I live and work and play in Winnipeg, Manitoba. I perform all across Canada, and uh, when I'm lucky, the world. <laughs> My name is Sarah Jo Kirsch. I uh, sometimes go by SJ. I'm an animal that likes to make sound. <laughs> Sensational Revolution in Medicine by Aaron Gervais was written in, uh, I think it was 2008. He wrote this cycle uh, of texts he found in spam emails that ended up in his inbox. Because we are living in a time <laughs> where we are bombarded with scam and spam a lot, right? And we have to discern with what is the opportunity and what is actually something that we should ignore. I think that um, people can relate to this and it, take, it puts a little bit of joy into like the little bit of frustration that has almost become like, for me, it's like, you know, double, triple times a day that I get a text message that's like, Fido wants to put money in your account, you know? So it just gives a little levity to all of that. <laughs> This is play for me and Maddie because it's for soprano and speaking pianist. And Maddie's a firecracker and she is, she loves hamming it up. The first movement, the text is sensational, revolution in medicine, what has uh, no side effect, 100% herbal solution. The movement is such a jam. Aaron has this way of writing syncopated rhythms, polyrhythms, you know, in seven, eight time that feel like you can really groove to them. It's very repetitive movement. We go back and forth, back and forth. Uh, and she's singing and speaking and, and being hilarious. Prepare for the most important work of your career, landing the role. I think it is impossible to measure it as a department of the ministry. Only small amounts of these minerals are found in other foods. The second movement is prepare for the most important work of your career. Uh, and then this random little quote that doesn't make any sense. It is delivered in an incredibly frantic sort of way. The third movement uh, is this little sugar daddy scam. This this girl by the name of Natasha, who uh, is uh, 28 years old and single. Natasha, my height, 173 centimeter. My name, Natasha, my height, 173 centimeter. If you uh, are a man of 30 to 50 years old and you seek friendship, <laughs> yada yada. My big feature movement is movement four, uh, which is titled, Dear User, Why Don't You? And it's all about male enhancement drugs. <laughs> get to scream about uh, satisfying uh, your lover and, you know, extra time, extra time. It says, the name says, it's all. It gives you extra time oh, and no. pleasure and extra time. 
so fun to ham up that that role. This is all Maddie. All I do is I could either, you could call it a, a little gasps of disturbance, or it could be orgasmic. We don't know. Um, it's up to you to decide. Enter. Oh, Just coordinating the where my gasps are in between her syllables of text, right? While she's playing as well, it's like this total, yeah, scramble. And then the fifth movement is living in a time of resource where there's this amazing opportunity for you and jump now because uh, otherwise you're gonna miss out. Living in a time of resource. When we first did it, of course, it was just kind of like, it felt like a bit of a party trick. Nine and a half years later, um, I think we've both felt that 10 years of growth. Power. Money, gold, oil, belongings. We have new attentions, and you know, as much as we are freer in them, we're also more specific, which is kind of a beautiful thing to get to to do with a piece of music. It was one of the first pieces that got me uh, kind of breaking the boundary of classical pianist. And since then, I've gone on to do many more pieces and um, programs that incorporate my voice in a solo piano context, whether I'm storytelling or whether I'm singing or whether I'm vocalizing along with the music. It was, uh, it was a bit of a gateway drug, you know, in a lot of ways. It really was um, just to play, be invited to play. And like getting to hear Maddie's voice in her magic is a delight. Our next feature has has attained, has, has attained. I don't know if I giggle with anyone more than I giggle with Maddie. And to have a collaborator where things really are play, when, even, even when it's serious, there's always a levity and there's always a buoyancy to, to our work together. She says what she thinks, and so do I. And I think that's what also makes our collaboration so strong, is that we both hold space for that. And we, we both, again, have the integrity of the score at heart. Sometimes you find you're lucky enough to find that one person who moves musically with you so instinctually. They push me and they challenge me in a, in a way that only makes me stronger and a better musician. So utmost appreciation and admiration and just joy for them being in my life.